that's what actually you burn up in energy because of those mistakes. It kills you in the finish. Harlow drives the ball long. The back. at the back. Oh, he's got a top and a sensational make taken by the young man Fife. Boy, has he got a set of hands. They just keep producing him at the minute, Fremantle. He looks very accomplished in the aerial department, Jared. The second clunker he's taken. Yes, he's been very impressive, BT. He'll go back and slot this one through. And I think there was a fair uh, question mark as to whether or not he was ready. I know he was dominating at the lower grade at uh, Claremont, but it was in a dominant side, but he is a smartish player. Fremantle to go up by 11 points, and Fife kicks the goal. Duffield Great sends it wide and Fife floats in and he does float into marking contest beautifully, injuring his knee in the opening half. Good float back by Fife. Well done. He kept his eye on the ball, which was extremely important, and uh, took a good mark in front of a very experienced player. 50 from goal, forced to backtrack, inside 50 towards McVeigh and getting back Fife. Last line of defence, Havlich. Big first half, not such a big second half. Duffield, Morabito caught in the middle of the pack. Fife, Crowley, and Bradley can let this roll. Fife, 28 minutes gone. Off hands, Shaw. Extracts a little kick out of the congestion. Fife takes the mark and can take 30 seconds off the clock if he likes. He's been very good. Touched on him a few times. Exciting play, good run. Uses the ball well. Canterbury to Bolton. Fife across the face. Going to go long. Zach Clark coming in, won't get there. Mark here by Fife. Out positioned. O'Keefe. Try and give him a bit of space with the speed that he possesses. And that goal has brought Johnson back on the ground as well. As Fife got a really nice clearance out of the middle. Walters! Oh. What a leap! It's crucial once it got over the back. So out of the middle. Pierce to Fife. Main beautiful tap. Barlow got to be clean. Saw Fife heading in front. Gathers. Poise. Slingshot. Goal! Birchall's played every game again this year. An injury interrupted career, but he's back this year. Pavlich flies. Good oh, hands. hands. So Walters takes them on on the wing after getting it from Crozier. Pumps it long. Five. Rolling ball. Langford with a huge job. Right in his wheelhouse, Five. Opens it up. That's why he might pull the most votes in the brown line. Might not win it. Won't win it. But he is arguably the best in the court. Fair number down here. It's yeah. a long number Polly five. Farmer, Gary Abbott, of course. Barlow yeah. spears that. Pavlich's this direction. Gary Malaki. Yeah. Going back now, Eddie. Five. Yeah, yeah. Breaks through. Speaking of all time, oh, great. What a goal. How good is he? That was great. Well, he hasn't had too many possessions, but he, uh, a couple that he's had have been absolutely sensational. There was none better than that. He took the ball under severe pressure. Bodies around. Broke the uh, tackle and uh, kicked the goal. He is seven points. That was Port Adelaide in the opening round. Subin break free. Here he is on cue. Five. Didn't hit it well, but then again, he doesn't have to. He's just that good. Front spot again, and again it finds him. Nowhere to go. One of the great one-on-ones of the year. They say we don't get one-on-ones anymore. There they are again. Dangerfield and five. It's been goal for goal for the last five goals, and Fife takes them on. We spoke about it being a hardened side. Fife and Dangerfield have been on each other for 65 minutes, which is unheard of in today's footy, with handovers, changeovers, interchange. They've just got the two best players on the ground, and they've gone head-to-head. And I declare the winner of the 2015 Brownlow Medal, Nat Five for the Fremantle Football Club.
Welcome to Nat 5, dual Brownlow medalist Gary Ablett. Congratulations. I hope I put it on the right way. Thank you. Enjoy, buddy. What's it mean to you? Uh, I think it's, it's greater than me. It's, it's the Fremantle Footy Club and all our members and fans and supporters. And, um, we had a, a strong year this year, finishing on top of the ladder, but obviously a disappointing end. But I think we can take this home and really celebrate this as a, as a club and as a community. <clears throat> Thank you to the whole footy community at Fremantle. Uh, all the support I've had from people that I've met and haven't met, it's been quite phenomenal. And, uh, and I hope there's a lot of chapters left in my story and, this, and the story at the Dockers, so thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2015 Brownlow medalist, Nat Five for the Fremantle Footy Club.